Hi guys, it's Nigel, Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents, and I hope you're all well today. It's Thursday and the sun is out at last. It's still nip, it's still nippy, it's still a bit windy. But today I'm in a smallish cul-de-sac, and just then behind me, just on the Chippenham side of town, is a two-bed end terrace property in Weaver's Croft. And look guys, there is no chain with this property. It's a two-bed end, it's got your double glazing, it's got your gas go into a porch sitting room uh, a modern kitchen um, since they since they bought it they've improved the kitchen two beds upstairs and a bathroom there's an outside garden obviously that's enclosed and then what else do you have you have parking which is numbers there is an allocated parking for this two bed that's just in behind me there's a little tree in the way so you can't quite see it so look guys you know how this market is especially two beds in Melksham they're as rare as hen's teeth it's a very fluid market, so look, if you are interested, give me a nudge. I will be able to get you into this property. So with all my tours, guys, you know I'm going to spin the camera around. We're just going to talk about Weaver's Croft. We're going to talk about Melchior and its amenities and also how close we are to road links. And then we're going to head on in and explore this property in Weaver's Croft. And here it is, number 72, Weaver's Croft. This is an end terrace, is the rank over there, the middle one, and it's this property here, just on the right-hand side. Little garden in front, enclosed with a tree, hedging. So that gives you a bit of privacy, guys. And I just want to talk about Weaver's Croft. I'm going to go up there in a minute because that's where the parking is. But as I turn it around, you can just see with the camera, there's other properties that are very similar. They're all two beds, they're all three beds, and there's also some one beds as well. As you come out of Weaver's Croft and go down there, if you take the one-way system, that will then link you into the town. Now look, I'm a fit lad. I can walk into the town from here in say 10 minutes. So the amenities are there, the supermarket is there, Sainsbury's, the shops, the amenities, the, the clubs, whatever you want for a social life and things to do during the day, it's all there in Melksham. It's a very bustling market town. Just along there, there's the Asda roundabout, and then you can go across there and you can head towards, I don't know, uh, Broughton Gifford. You can even get to Bradford and Avon that way. Um, also, if you go along the A350 and up to the top, that then takes you over to Bower Hill if you turn left towards Devizes. Or if you go right, you can head towards Warminster, um, Westbury, Warminster, Trowbridge. You can get on the A303 up that way. So it's decent road links. And of course, that A350 then runs along here, Asda, and then that takes you into Chippenham along this road or you can spur off into Corsham and I say this because it's so well located this property suits investors it suits first-time buyers it suits though you know these type of buyers that still can use the road links into Chippenham Corsham you can go over to to Swindon get on the M4 within 15 20 minutes easily without the traffic issues and, and you know obviously that's what the roads are there for but also you can spur off to Bath that's a 12 mile 13 mile distant from here so let's say half an hour in the car on a good day so that's basically it for the amenities guys there is a supermarket there there's other shops there there's bus routes you're very very well located for this property in weaver's croft and that's what two beds are they're great for investors they're great for first time buyers or people downsizing you know what you're going to get with them but like i say rare as hen's teeth so just going to walk along here for a little bit further because in just behind here you can see there is a red car and actually there's a gate here that gate takes you into the rear of 72 so it's pretty useful but just here this is where the parking is you can see that's numbered 70 76 over there so that should be 74 this is 72 and that's the parking i guess you could put another car there but it's definitely parking for one which i believe is on the type of so just for one whether people use it for more cars i you know that's that's a separate thing if you can get away with it but there's still there's still parking and it's still there with the property now if we go under this tree here what we're going to find so it's going to give us an entrance to number 72 as you can see and we're going to head in this door and explore and as promised we're just going to go through the you can see the porch and the roof shaping down entrance door two. Oh, actually before we do that just come back out just quickly there's that gate i mentioned that gives you that side pedestrian access to the rear Little key safe there entrance door two and as we come in what i'm going to do i'm just going to close the porch because i like to turn the camera around 
And there you can see as I've come in, there's a multi-pane door there to the right. There's a little cupboard there, you can put your shoes in there, quite useful for storage. Double glazed entrance door, window to the side. And of course it then takes us straight into this living room. There you can see in the living room, the stairs go over up to the first floor landing. There is an understairs storage, I guess, area. I've seen people block that off. I've also seen people use it for computer areas. There's a de like a table there, you can build it in. And I think that's quite useful because of the size of the room. It's quite a decent size, this two bed. And then you can see how you can utilize the space if you want to. Some people don't, they put a, a sofa suite there, they put the TV in there. Some people put TVs on walls, some people don't, like these guys, they haven't. Backstory with this property, it's been rented for a number of years. The owners are just selling up their investment and that's why there is no chain on this property. We just need to arrange the viewings with the current tenants that are here at the moment, but they've both found another property they're moving on. So this is why this is on the market. So as you can see with the sitting room radiator there, it's a nice picture window that brings in the natural light from the front. And there you can see that screening you've got from the hedging, which is quite nice actually just separates it a little bit from the outside areas of the property. So as we come out of the sitting room, you can see there's another double glazed window. It's quite a nice long window that brings in more light. You can see the light just coming off of the reflection from the TV into the kitchen dining room. Nice little bar area to the left, tiled flooring door. That goes out to the rear garden, little area there for you sink uh, for your fr fridge freezer and there you can see modern cupboard units space units space for cooker some part tiled splashbacks or walling there plumbing for washing machine all pretty standard all pretty decent and there's the garden and actually you know i mean it's not actually that overlooked you've got some cottages here but you can barely see anything over there so it's a nice enclosed garden there Grass will need to cut at some point, patio area there, but a decent size. But we'll have a look at that later. I'm just gonna turn the camera back into the kitchen because as we know, kitchens are kitchens. They all have cupboard doors. So we don't need to talk too much about that. And there's that breakfast area over there, which is pretty good. Radiator, like I said, the tiled floorings there, wall and base units. Nice little kitchen diner to use as you wish. So that's it for the ground floor guys. What we're gonna do is take a look upstairs at the two bedrooms and bathroom. And here we go, as we make our way back from the living room, turn that camera around. We're gonna head on up. So let's head on up these stairs. They just turn at the end. I'm popping the camera up there because you can see the loft space. That's the access to loft space. And then the landing splits left to right, bathroom in the middle bedroom there, bedroom there, and bathroom. Now, as we're facing this room, let's go in. You can see there's some bags and stuff. They're clearing out now, guys. So, you know, they, they, they've got a, they're moving to a different property. Um, so you can see there's some bags there, but don't get that. Where are you? Obviously it's big enough for a bed. Window there, another window there. And then back there again, you can see plenty of space there for wardrobe. So it's, it is a, a double bedroom, this. Turn the camera around, just so you can see the other angle there. And it's how you want your bed. You can have your bed coming this way. You know, this, guy, this lady's got it that way. There is a radiator also under this, um, under these two windows, there's a radiator that runs along there where that desk is as well. But all in all, standard two bed. Let's pop out the camera to that rear. And that's that garden, not really out of overlooked. There's a parking space there with that red car. Like I said, they're just in the midst of clearing now because they're moving out. So you're gonna expect bin bags and things sometimes in a property. Come back out and let's have a look at the bathroom. A couple of things I wanna say. One thing I wanna say about this bathroom, obviously you've got wash and basin, there's your bath and shower there. You can see some tiled units, low level WC. So that's the tiling. There is some work, there's some flaky paint. Now the owner, or well the owners are gonna paint this. 
So we decided to do the video just to let you know that this will be done. They just couldn't get it done by today. It's Thursday today, but over the next few days, the, this actual will be repainted, this room. So it just keeps it nice and fresh for any buyer. And I think that's a nice thing to do for them anyway. They should be doing that. You'd also notice a little double glazed um, obscure window letting in that natural light. And just here is the boiler. And that's where they put it in the airing cupboard, tuck it all away. Nice and new. nicely tucked away in there. Come back out of the bathroom. So as you know, there's that other bedroom. There's the bathroom upstairs. Come back into here. Then you've got another bedroom in here. They've put the double bed this way, window there. And this is actually quite a bit more roomy on this side because it sort of goes into this uh, L shape. So you can put a desk in. And then where that is, you can see there's a cupboard that goes over the stairwell. So that's the stairwell there as you come up and that's the cupboard. So it's pretty useful just to have a bit more storage space. Double glazed window to that front elevation. Come back around. Like I said, you can have a desk area in there. There's the bed, little unit. And you can see a radiator just under that window there. Pop the camera out. It's always nice to see what's outside from these elevations. It's quite windy today, even though it's the sun is out today, which is useful. And that's your front. And that basically is it. There's the two bedrooms upstairs, guys, and the bathroom. So you know it's double glazed, you know it's gas. Let's have a quick look at the rear garden and then we can finish off the tour from there. So as we come through the living room again, into this kitchen, there is a double glazed door. Open it up, nice and easy. And we're into that rear garden. And there's your patio. Little green area there obviously you can cut the garden as and when there's a little, sh little storage shed there sun's coming out so you can start to i mean the time now is about 11 ish and the sun is just over there so you are going to get sun in the garden depends on what times come back here and you can see it's a nicely enclosed garden a bit of fencing all the way around just to enclose it off and if i put my camera here you can see there's that side gated access as well so all in all guys uh weaver's croft is a very smart two bed as you'd expect end terrace uh, with no chain let's go back to that no chain there's no one would purchase for these guys you can buy it it really will suit first time buyers this investors or people downsizing any questions guys please give me a call it's nige at lock and key independent estate agents on 01225 707 342 i hope you're all well um, and i look forward to hearing from you uh, pretty soon thanks guys